A geological survey in China has found thorium supplies that could power the country for 60,000 years. This big news circulated through the media last week. How important is this finding? Let's have a look. The news came from the South China Morning Post and from there spread rapidly all over the world. The Morning Post claims to have seen a declassified report of a survey from 2020, according to which the Bayan Obu mining complex in the Inner Mongolia region of China could yield 1 million tons of thorium from mining waste. This would mean that China has the world's largest thorium reserves and would put it on top of the list ahead of India, Australia, Brazil and the United States. If thorium ever becomes an important natural resource, this would give a lot of economic power to China. And it could become an important resource because thorium can be used for nuclear fission. It's basically a vast supply of carbon dioxide free energy. Using thorium for nuclear reactors has several advantages over the currently more commonly used uranium. One is that there's about three to four times more thorium in the Earth's crust. It also can't be as readily used for nuclear weapons, though if you make some effort, that's still possible. The real advantage of thorium reactors is, however, that they can use essentially the entire fuel, not just a small fraction of it, as is the case with the uranium reactors. This means that the energy you can extract from a certain mass of thorium is much higher than for the same mass of uranium. Thorium itself is not fissile, which means you can't run a chain reaction with thorium alone. You need to start the reaction with some other element, typically one uses uranium. However, that requires far less enriched uranium. This too is a big advantage because enriched uranium has become really expensive and the main supplier is Russia. For this reason, thorium reactors have attracted a lot of interest recently. China has already been running a small thorium reactor for a few years. This has been a test project with merely two megawatts of power. I assume things went as planned because this year they want to start building a bigger demo demonstration reactor with 10 megawatts in power that's supposed to be operational by 2030. And after that, I guess I'll go to small modular reactors of 100 megawatts or so. These thorium reactors are molten salt reactors, a type of design that powers itself down automatically in case the cooling system fails. This all sounds great. So could you power China from thorium for 60,000 years? Probably yes, but how revolutionary is this finding really? It's hard to say precisely because unfortunately I've not been able to find the report that the Morning Post writes about. One million tons sounds like a lot for a single site. Just for comparison, the entire country of India has an estimated 1 million tons. That said, the Morning Post also says that the survey identified in total more than 230 thorium sites in China, and quite possibly the reason that the reported reserves in India are much lower is that they simply haven't done such a survey. So I think the Chinese number is plausibly approximately correct. But there is a reason why the world isn't running on thorium yet. It's that scientists and engineers have tried molten salt reactors a few times starting in the 1960s and that didn't go all that well. The biggest problem is that the molten salts are highly corrosive and degrade the material they come into contact with quickly. In the past 50 years, researchers have developed alloys that are more corrosion resistant and have also tried to find more benign molten salt mixtures. So some progress has been made, but I think I think it's fair to say that the technology isn't quite there yet. It's still very much in the exploration phase. You may wonder why, if molten salts are such a headache, don't we just use thorium in some other sort of reactor? One of the reasons, as I already mentioned, is that the molten salt reactors are particularly safe. But another reason is that the temperature and pressure range which they operate in make the thorium reaction more efficient. If you use, for example, a pressurized water reactor, that's the currently most commonly used type, 
then you need more of the enriched uranium to keep the thorium reaction going. It's kind of like saying you can charge an electric car with a diesel generator. Possible, but not a good sales point. Despite the challenges, thorium reactors are a promising power source. China is not the only country which has seen this. The United States has several test projects and startups, so has the UK and several other countries. But while we wait for the thorium revolution, keep on dusting the solar panels. Last year, I coincidentally noticed that if you asked Google for my cell phone number, it gave you an answer. Luckily, I changed my number three years ago, and the one that Google spat out was my old one. But that was somewhat of an eye-opener. I've since signed up to Incogni, who've been sponsoring this video. You see, each time you open a website, it'll try to collect data about who you are and where you are and what other websites you've visited. If you then sign up for a website and fill in your personal details, they can, and often do, make money by selling your private information to data brokers. Most countries have laws against that, and you can ask for your data to be removed, but doing this takes up a lot of time. Incogni automates the process of getting you out of those databases. You sign up and they'll contact the big sinners, request that your personal details be removed, and they'll keep on doing that. And if you want, send you updates about the progress they're making. I'm glad there's now a simple solution to stop unfriendly people doing nasty things with my personal details. Incogni is super easy to use. You sign up, give them the information they should look for, and they go to work, like within a minute, basically. I now sleep better at night, and maybe I can help you sleep better too. If you use our code Zabina or the custom link in the info below, you'll get 60% off of Incogni. That's an amazing deal, so go and check this out. Thanks for watching. See you tomorrow.